Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about shifting the aggregate supply curve. In this video we will examine what causes the short run aggregate supply curve to shift and what we see in this case here is if we're looking at the short run aggregate supply curve it is actually shifted by the exact same things that cause the long run aggregate supply curve to shift. So beforehand we looked at something called B, which was technology. We also looked at L, which was labor, the quantity of labor in the market. We looked at K, which represented the quantity of capital in the market. And we looked at H, which represented human capital, so how educated the workforce are. And finally, what we looked at as well is N, which is a country's natural resources. So we have all these features of an economy that can affect both the short and long run aggregate supply. So if we took something like technology, and we said that there was an increase in the technology, maybe through foreign direct investment coming into a country with R&D and investment in uh, research and development. So that increased, for example, the productivity in the country. So with an increase in productivity, what we would tend to see is productivity increases. This means that there is greater output for the same level of input. And what happens in this case is if there's greater output, the short run aggregate supply curve will shift rightwards. So we have a rightward shift of short run aggregate supply and we'll call that short run aggregate supply two. So we will start off with a price level in the economy and let's say at price level one, which is on our first short run aggregate supply one, price level one, the output level in the economy produced by firms is GDP one down here. Now, because productivity has increased, the short run aggregate supply curve shifts out to the right in which case we get point B over here. And at point B, for every given price level, the GDP, the output in the economy is greater. It shifts over to the right over here. So that's for, for example, a productivity increase or if labor increased, if there was a reduction in the cost of production and so on. Okay, so what would cause the short run aggregate supply curve to shift left? Well, maybe if we're looking at labor here, maybe the quantity of labor is the same, but maybe, for example, the minimum wage increases in the economy. Well, if the minimum wage increases in the economy, that means firms have to pay workers more money. Therefore, the output level will tend to fall. Their costs will go up and that will eat into the budget for other factors of production. So in this case here, if the minimum wage goes up and the cost of doing business goes up, the short run aggregate supply curve will shift backwards to the left. So we have here short run aggregate supply three. And what we have on our diagram here is at the exact same price level P1, we now see following the minimum wage increase that GDP has fallen in this case here. So GDP three has reduced compared to GDP one. And that is due to a leftward shift of the short run aggregate supply curve. So in general, what are we saying? How can we summarize all this information? Well, we're saying that anything that increases the aggregate supply in the short run means that we shift the aggregate supply curve to the right. So rightward shift of aggregate supply. And anything then that causes a decrease in aggregate supply, we will represent this in our model by shifting the aggregate supply curve to the left. 
Now, there is one additional aspect here that isn't covered in the long run that we have to note. And the additional aspect here is in terms of price expectations. So something we have mentioned before, so price expectations here, we sometimes put in as PE, price expectations in the economy. So what tends to happen is, if there is an increase in price expectations in the economy, well, what tends to happen then is if people, uh, workers are basing their wage increases on expected price levels, and if these rise, well then what happens is wages tend to rise as well, and if wages rise, we tend to see our aggregate supply curve shifting backwards, so to the left, and a decrease in aggregate supply. So what happens in terms of price expectations increasing, we see that our short run aggregate supply curve shifts backwards to the left. However, we also have the situation where price expectations can lower, in which case this will put downward pressure on wage demands due to adaptive expectations, and in this case, the aggregate supply curve will increase or shift rightwards. So in this case over here, it's a leftward shift, and in this case, it is a rightward shift, as indicated over in our model on the left-hand side. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.